So the UFC judging is bad and it's not getting any better. It's pretty obvious it's not. After the Amir Al-Bazi and Kai Kara France fight, people have really been riding. It's really shown a light on how bad the judging has been in the UFC so far this year, last year, and probably even the year before that. Overall, judging has gotten worse and I would even go as far to say that it has been the worst it's ever been ever in UFC history. Judging right now actually feels like it's rigged. Like the UFC is pulling some strings behind the curtains trying to get fighters who shouldn't be winning, winning. And it seems like it's happening every weekend, every other weekend, every big fight, we have some sort of robbery. Every huge name gets a win they shouldn't win. Everything has kind of gone to shit judging wise. So I kind of wanted to figure out on my own what really is going on. So I got out the keyboard, got these old rusty arthritis hands up from all this editing I've been doing, put them to work and went on to MMADecisions.com. And guess what? I found some pretty nice stuff. And pretty much what I found was it's not necessarily the judging, it's the judges, which is a big difference in this case because it feels like a lot of these guys who are making these bad calls or these bad scorecards would be a better way. It feels like they are the main issue. And what I mean by that is that I found three or four judges that are consistently making bad scorecards. And starting off with no other than our favorite judge, my man, he's your man, he's a UFC's man, but it's no other than good old Sal Diamato. Now you might've heard this name before because he's always judging. This guy is consistently on every UFC card. Pretty much every week you'll see Sal Diamato judging at some point on a UFC card. And yeah, it's really funny. He was even on last Saturday's card and he gave the first round to Amir Albazi, which 81% of people gave to Kai Kaur France. So we're already starting off on the wrong foot, Sal Diamato, just off of this the first impression we got from you, things aren't going well. And so I scrolled down and I saw he judged the Cater versus Emmett fight, which was also a very controversial fight that people thought Cater won. In fact, 75% of people scored that fight for Cater. So I'm thinking, what does Sal Diamanto do? Who did he pick? Oh, it was Josh Emmett. Okay, you know what? That's two fights. That's not that bad. Two fights that you got wrong isn't the end of the world. You're a judge, you're human, we make mistakes. You know, we're not AIs, we're not robots. I don't expect perfection from a judge every single fight that he does. But this is the funny part. Uh, I went and saw the top 10 most controversial decisions of 2022, which would have been last year. And I saw Sal Diamanto's name four times. Sal Diamanto scored four fights that were clear robberies that went to the wrong person. He scored the Charles Johnson versus Zalgas Zumagulov fight wrong. He scored the Alaski versus the Jake Collier fight wrong. He scored the Priscilla Kakawera versus Dion Kim fight wrong. He scored the Martin Pade versus Lucas Bersky fight wrong. They were all wrong. And I get it. You might say, oh, whatever. Those weren't really any big high profile fights, some flyweights, women's fight, some old men fighting, you know, they're not, they're not too crazy, you know, but then again, to refute that, he also scored the Cater versus Emmett fight wrong. They were all wrong. And this was in a span of one singular year. And so I scrolled down again and saw the 2021 version of this, the top 10 most controversial decisions. Clicked on that. I saw him twice on that list, which isn't bad compared to 2022. Two, honestly, you know what? That's, that's not as bad. You only got worse from year to year. You know, it, it couldn't be that bad. So you know, it, it is what it is. So I went down to 2020. Oh, we're at four again, Saudi Yamato. What's going on here, my guy? Over the course of three years, not counting this year, <laughs> you've gotten 10 fights wrong, pretty much. You've robbed 10 fighters. Think about it like that. You have robbed 10 fighters. It's almost unfathomable at this point. And so that's not it. That's not all I have to say about Saudi Amato. There's some more, 
but I'm gonna push him to the side for now and really focus on some of these other guys. Because when I was going through this list again, I saw other names in there. It wasn't just Sal Diamanto. There was more judges in there. Douglas Crosby, I'll go through these judges quick because they're not as bad as Sal Diamanto, but they're still bad. But Douglas Crosby gave that Pimlet fight to Patty Pimlet when he fought Jared Gordon. Hmm, that's pretty sus, isn't it? He also judged the Arlovsky versus Collier fight, which he also scored in favor of Olofsky with our man Sal Diamanto. And I think in probably the biggest high profile fight besides Patty Pimlet, he also gave the Daniel Rodriguez versus Li Jing Liang to D-Rod. So that's three. I don't know what's going on here, man, but like it, it seems like there's a lot of things going on in here that shouldn't be happening. Derek Cleary is another guy who's consistently robbing fighters. And there's one other guy I wanna talk about. And that's our man, Chris Lee. You might have heard of Chris Lee before. Also, pretty bad judge. He actually gave a round to Vera when he fought Sanhagen, which I guess isn't criminal. It isn't criminal. I mean, it's not only like pretty much everybody ever gave that fight 50-45 to Sanhagen, but he didn't rob Sanhagen, so I can't hold him accountable or too hard for that decision. He's only really had a few. Honestly, he had a pretty decent year last year in terms of correct judging, but in 2021, it was kind of wishy-washy. He gave the Danny Roberts versus Ami fight oh to God, Danny Roberts who shouldn't have won that. Hell. He actually robbed Manel Cap against Mateus Nicolau. You know, we're not building a good a repertoire with our judges. So at this point, you might be asking, why does this matter? Why do these guys matter? It might just be bad judges, who cares? They have a few bad calls every now and then. This is where we kind of dive into the deep end with it. <laughs> but it's actually funny because these three judges in Sal Diamanto, Derek Cleary, and Chris Lee are actually the three most used judges by the UFC. Sal Diamanto, I mean, is ahead, ahead by a landslide in terms of how many fights he's judged. This guy is pretty much always on a UFC card again. Like I said before, he's always here. And it leads me to think, if these judges are consistently making bad calls, consistently robbing fighters, why do the UFC still, I wouldn't say employ them, but why do the UFC still hire these guys to judge? Because if you didn't know, the UFC cannot hire or employ judges because that, again, that would be, that would be wrong. It would be pretty much corruption within itself. But why does the UFC continuously allow these guys to judge fights in their promotion? And I'm not a guy who's really big into conspiracy theories, but... You know, it kind of makes sense. When you've been judging for the UFC for so long, what do you build? What do you gain from doing this? Money, obviously, and also a good relationship. You build a really strong relationship with the UFC and they might ask you to do certain things in exchange for what? A little extra money, a little extra dough. They might be like, hey, Chris Lee, we need Patty Pimlet to win this fight because he's our big star. He's our huge name coming into here and we need to make as much money as we can off of him. So if things get a bit tough, things get a bit weird, we need you to score this fight for him. That's what happens. I think that's generally kind of what happens. I don't want to say that the UFC is corrupt because I don't think they are, honestly. But I would be ignorant to not think that they aren't doing something behind the scenes and that the judging in the UFC is completely fair and that none of them are purposely doing some things sometimes. I'm not going to say they are exactly because I don't think that would be necessarily true, but there's something fishy going on. And if that's not the case, if there isn't anything fishy going on, why the fuck are you still hiring these dumbass judges to keep judging? who consistently get fights wrong. If they're so bad at judging, let's broaden this. Let's find some guys who know how to judge, who won't get fights wrong all that often, who consistently get the scorecards right. And if that's not the case, let's fix our criteria UFC. Let's make it more specific so that these, I guess, dimwit judges can figure out how to score a fight correctly. Because apparently, if you're not rigging these things, then the judges are confused because I don't know what else they could be at this point. Either they're super low IQ, dumb people, which I don't think any commission would allow them to be this dumb, but there needs to be some sort of more intricate and more nuanced rule set so that these, I guess, low IQ judges can figure out how to score a fight correctly. Otherwise, 
we're going to keep having robberies. Otherwise, we're going to keep having bad scorecards. Otherwise, the UFC judging is going to be bad and continue to get worse for longer and longer. I'm done. I'm just kind of done hearing about robberies. When somebody gets robbed, you feel bad for them. They lose their show money. They don't get a win bonus. They lose all of that. And the guy who won, who won by robbery, people hate him now. People just like him because he won by robbery. And it's not really his fault. It really isn't. So robberies are bad for both ends of the fighter. So we need to eliminate them as quickly as possible. And it starts off with these dumb judges. It just starts with them. Saudi Amato should not be your most active judge every single year. He shouldn't be doing this many fights. Because it makes sense when you're sitting down watching a fight for hours on end, your brain has to get fatigued. There's just no way, I know myself, there's just no way that I can sit down and just intensely watch a fight for so long and not be like, bro, this is like, this is getting tough. And then doing it weekend after weekend, doing it in different promotions. Like at some point you might get things mixed up because you're doing it so often. It's just crazy to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm stretching. Maybe I'm going a bit too far into this. I don't know, but maybe I am reaching a little bit on this, but something just feels fishy in the water when it comes to this. Something is not right, but that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Let me know how you feel in the comments again. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon as well. Peace.